Nobody wants to queue for a food bank at any stage of their lives. But imagine, like Brenda, having to do it at the age of 78 with the ability to earn long gone. Or 68-year-old Michael, who's worked all his life on the London Underground and says he has £25 a week in spare cash. Do you imagine that life would be like this? No, no, not at all. I thought I was going to live comfortably. What I have to do is boil water every time I want to shave or have a proper wash. The food bank can trigger a range of emotions. Are you struggling? Mm -hmm. Too much. One in five pensioners are in poverty. And after two years and counting of a pandemic which picks off the most frail amongst the elderly, the cost of living adds to their loneliness and anxiety. I think it goes back to their experiences often of being brought up in, in wartime and, and the, the experience of there not being enough to go around and having to, you know, to, to make do. Time and again, people are turning to their communities. These are volunteers brought together by unprecedented need in extraordinary times. Let's open the door. Thank you. Their first call is to a 92-year-old man who hasn't been out since last October. Richard needs the lights on all day because his flat is so dark. His oxygen machine runs constantly. It's all racking up energy costs. Hello, my friend. How are you keeping? The volunteers have brought him food and company. We're isolated now from the rest of the community in, within, the, within our own building. Oh, brilliant. So, oh, thank you. Next, there's a book to deliver to Doreen. <laughs> oh, that's a, that, that's a cake site. At 74, she can't afford to put the central heating on. Instead, there's one bar of the electric fire on in one room. The other night, I went to bed and I felt lovely. And then about 2 o'clock in the morning, I thought... The heating, I've left the heating on, so I've had to come all the way down on the stair lift to turn the heating off, and then you wake up freezing cold. Do you find it all quite depressing? Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. And it's getting even worse now. What's worrying is the long-term impact on the elderly. A lot of people, because of the poverty that they face, will lead to premature earlier death because of them not being able to feed themselves or clothe themselves or keep themselves warm adequately. Living in fear of poverty for an increasing number of pensioners, what should be their golden years, have lost their sparkle. Lisa Holland, Sky News, East London.